Mike, turn your games down. Hi, we're here, movie episode of Kings My Mom Found. I am Mike Helberton, and who is turning into a doll with me tonight? <laughs> I'm Tiffany Elberton, and yep, that's all I got. Hey everybody, it's Ken Sanity, and as always, you can find me on the corner of Wabash and Van Buren. <laughs> I am the Let's Play Princess Phoebe Stanton. I thought we were going over the game Hide the Soul. I was ready to put that on the shelf. <laughs> Hi, it's Mario, and I have a soul right here for you here, Phoebe. <laughs> this is Sierra, and I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Good. I don't think anybody, uh, any of us else do either. Yeah, You're there in kinda... person with him. I know, right? I know you can do <laughs> better with it. I can do a lot of voices. Nobody went for a... Uh... And I'm your friend to the end, huh? I was going to do that. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to roll with it. I I was specifically coming up with something in my head waiting, and then he did that, and it threw me off. So (laughs) That's fair. That is fair. Next time I'll have you go before him. How about? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I just wasn't fast enough on this one. And we're all here representing games my mom found, and we're your friend till the end. We got there, everybody. Oh, it only took a, a minute and 30 of rambling to get there, but we did it, guys. All right. Is that what we do? Yes. Rambles my mom found. Ah! I like that. I do, too. It's not far off. So we are here to talk about a film that I had no interest in putting on the show, but thanks to my lovely wife, it's here. You're uh, welcome. Child's Play came out in 1988, directed by Tom Holland. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, when I thought, like, I don't think he was alive. It's a better Tom Holland. Yeah, I said the same thing when I saw his name on the credits in the beginning. <laughs> I was like, hmm, Tom Holland. <laughs> I have not seen any of his movies. Oh, what else? Did he do two? Damn shame. No, he did other movies that I've never heard of. I'm going to look that up now. No, they, they, no I've seen the one with Robin Pattinson. That one's actually good. It's a different role. So, and Ken, what is this movie about? All right. I actually have a plot breakdown that I wrote today. <clears throat> Charles Lee Ray is dying, proving that white people in mostly black spaces is usually a bad idea. He uses voodoo to transfer his consciousness into a terrifyingly red-headed plastic doll. Now the Chucky doll has the will to kill, and the only thing standing in his way is the stupid kid he belongs to, his jerk of a mom, and some cop who belongs in a different horror movie. <laughs> Jesus yeah, Christ, I yeah. <laughs> oh, so I always like to start these with our memories of of a, of a movie, and I have so I've seen half an hour of this movie once. I was staying at my, a girlfriend's house years ago, and I she put this you, on. Oh, the first part. Yeah, I just got like half an hour, I think. But she was letting her because her like four year old son or something really liked this movie. He thought it was great, and her older son, I think, was seven, was terrified of this movie. I remember that much. Mm-hmm. But so we watched about half an hour of it, and then. We ended up going to sleep. And then that was it. I've never like watched it, never seen it otherwise, had no interest in it. But years ago when I was a kid, so I was in, I think I was in fourth grade, my friend had a sleepover and they were all watching Ride of Chucky and I was too terrified. To, so I, I didn't sleep. I just sat downstairs in, in, the, in the darkness because I didn't want to go see the movie and I was terrified of it. <laughs> That's my history with the Chucky. Oh, that was a trip down memory lane. Holy mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I was terrified. I was like, oh, I ain't going upstairs. Nope. Mm-mm. We were playing Super Nintendo games, then somebody wanted to watch Bride of Chucky. And I'm you like, nope. Scared. You were scared of Jurassic Park. Yeah. I don't know what to tell you about that. Uh-huh. Bride of Chucky's probably scarier. So. Yeah, Bride of Chucky is that stupid How? scary. <laughs> that stupid, fun, like, violent night. That's what Bride of Chucky is. Uh, yeah. I'm not selling it. <laughs> and Tiffany, what is your history with this movie? Oh, once again, it's a movie that I watched with my dad, and I think I was six, so it's possible I watched it with him close to when it came out. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> Dude, our two-year-old's watching it. Why are you saying that's terrible? No, I'm saying <laughs> She was watching it, I should say. That I'm not saying how old she was. I was talking about how he basically said, yeah, that figures you're old. That was messed up. That's what I was saying. <laughs> that's basically what he said. <laughs> Oh, not what I meant, but yes, that is what I said. Hey, you feel that? <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to say. Just clarify. <laughs> At least give it a few months before you try to steal Tiffany from him. <laughs> yeah, Why would I, I, I do that? <laughs> yeah. The game Ken. is split the minute we met. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we were. <laughs> and Ken, was this another movie that you watched when you were like five? 
No, this movie didn't even come out until I was eight. Okay. But no, this was one I actually didn't watch until I was, I don't know, 13, 14, something like that. That's a good age for this. Yeah, like, it, it seems fine. But it, it's it's one of those movies that, you know, I kind of watched. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. And, you know, it just it kept cropping up over the years. And, well, we're doing it today. So <laughs> I've seen a lot is what I'm saying. <laughs> And Phoebe. Despite watching two, three, Bride, Seed, A Good Amount of Curse, A Lot of Cult, and the first season of the show, no. this is my first time watching this. Oh my. The, the first movie? You saw all the other ones, but the first one first? Yeah. Oh my god. That's weird to me. <laughs> the whole hey, I saw Bride first, to be fair, and that's because my grandma let me rent it from Blockbuster. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> That's I mean, deep. I saw this at Blockbuster, too, and I purposely didn't pick it up. So. Sure, I thought. We probably rented it. I was terrified of it. So, <laughs> hey, I wasn't touching it. Oh, no, the rest of my family was mad. Because this would be when I was, like, nine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And Mario. So, for me, my history with this movie is I used to watch it all the time. Not on purpose, only because it was always on TV, TV when direct TV became a huge thing right before TiVo. And it was always playing the one, two, and three over and over again on stars. But prior to watching it, though, for some reason, I had always had nightmares of Chucky whenever I stayed at one person's house every single damn time without fail. They have a doll? I don't know why. And then, and then the seed of Chucky teaser, like that, that, you know, the little quick thing where it shows, you know, sperm moving around and the eggs, stuff like that. And then you see the head turn as a baby. That always terrified me because of the damn music alone. Oh, I would always I have to that. skip it. Okay. And Sierra. For me, basically, it another one of those like horror movies I got introduced to by my mom's cousin, my, my first cousin. He was the one who introduced me to a lot of my favorite scary movies and stuff. So it has like a very big nostalgic feeling for me. At the same time, my aunt that I was very close to, she also had the Tiffany doll in her room. So I would be scared shitless <laughs> looking at that doll every night when I was sleeping in her room. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah well and it it didn't help too she also had the other living dead dolls in that room oh, all staring at you with the you know the box coffin and everything they had so but it after throughout the years i just come to love it because i just love like slasher movies or horror movies the ridiculousness of it and then when they became comedic it just made it 10 times better for me Plus, thank fun. you <laughs> thank you right <laughs> I mean, I, I heard these get better, but I am less interested in this series than I am with a bunch of other stuff that we've started on this podcast. You didn't watch Jaws 2 then? No. Oh. Oh, I'm, not, I'm more up for Hellraiser <laughs> 3 than I am for Jaws you 2. You like, or... obsessed with that movie. I don't know. I blame Ken. If, if you like the progression of where Nightmare on Elm Street goes, you're going to love this franchise. Yeah. Mm. Uh, <sighs> I yeah. do like some of those, yes. Yeah. Here's Wish the Freddy is another one of my favorite ones, too. <laughs> oh, me too! <laughs> Here's the thing with the Child's Play franchise. People always say that, oh, these movies get so much better. People say the same thing about the Evil Dead trilogy, too. But I'm like, no, the first one's the best one, and they just get worse from there. No, two is the best one, and they, then it just gets better from there. <laughs> I'm your that I, I agree on that that one. That's that you're incorrect, Sorry. but... Ash vs. Evil Dead's awesome. Thank you. Yes, it's it's the best one, honestly. I mean, Listen, I am here for comedy Space horror Chicken. B movie bullshit schlock. Yeah, and that's what these movies become more and more. Yes. Exactly. I'm here for <laughs> horror vibes, and it loses it as they go on. It does, think, but then that's where it finds its funniness, and that's where I feel like it just became more lovable after that. Wait, wait, Ken. What's your favorite nightmare movie? Oh God. Oh no. Is it two? No, it's New Nightmare. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that's, that's a good, good one. one. Damn. Also, on the podcast. That's a good okay, one. Okay, because I would put like the three up there for me. Of course. <laughs> Two, three, and five all the way, baby. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I have I don't know. I think. I don't like Dream Child. Dream Child. I, I like Dream it. Dream Child was one of my favorites for some reason. I want to watch more of them, but none of them are, on, are happening this year. Cause Honestly, the Freddy vs. Jason one is my favorite. That's a dumb, fun movie. <laughs> it is a dumb, fun movie. That's why I love it so much. The especially dumber it the, is, the Especially funny. the original ending. 
Yeah, why don't we get God. that? At the very least, I'm hoping Ken and I can agree that out of the first four Hellraiser movies, there's no bad one. I guess that's a no. <laughs> <laughs> you opened up, like, Pandora's box from I, Mario. I Con- opened up the little like, configuration there. <laughs> yes! I, if I would have thought of that right now, oh my god, yeah. So how about that Child's Play movie? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say something else, but you are right. I think part of my issue with this movie is I really hate dolls. I say that and I'm surrounded by over probably 500 Funko Pops. But those don't bother me, but I hate actual dolls. Like we had a. don't bother you yet. You need to watch the trilogy of terror. Then those are going to fuck with you. Uh, So, yeah, but I, I do not like dolls. When me and Tiff got together, she had a really old doll that we ended up selling, but we had it in a storage unit. I was like, we are, I do not want that in our room. I'm like, nope. No, Mm-mm. she said it wasn't coming to her new house. She was literally the size of a toddler. I could hold her on my hip. Oh, <laughs> she was not no, coming. Like those life-size ones? <laughs> yeah, I don't. it was like a porcelain doll that my, oh, I got okay. from my aunt. And I think she bought it somewhere in Europe. <laughs> yeah, it was a fancy doll. We sold it to a lady uh-huh. that had like a doll museum. That was yeah. creepy as fuck. Um, <laughs> No, what I had was my great aunt had a huge collection of those vintage doll clowns. Oh, no. That was the creepiest thing for me. That I didn't somewhere. find dolls too much, but the clown dolls are what got me. I kept hiding them around the house to scare Sierra and her sister. Yeah, that, uh-huh. I, I just hate dolls. I really do not like them in anything. So with this movie revolving around a doll is partly why I didn't enjoy this movie. But I actually did watch this all in one sitting for the most part. Wow. <laughs> I know. He was working. That's why. <laughs> it was quiet. It was quiet. <laughs> so I just ended up watching this movie for an hour and a half. And I mean, it was fine. I was just like, I had a lot of questions in the beginning. Like, why is this cop following this guy into a toy store? Why didn't this cop call for backup? He did. Where's he, his badge? He's a good Why is he throwing a dress away as he's running after the cop or after right. the killer? <laughs> I thought that's what that was. I had a lot of questions. I also had a question of when he finished the chant, why did the building blow up? And I guess the lightning it was did it. Lightning. But I was and just like an 80s the, movie. Yeah, Michael, I don't know. Michael, Michael, Michael you do not understand the power <laughs> of voodoo. Right? Voodoo? You do. Do what? <laughs> Thank the you. power of voodoo. <laughs> I think oh. my biggest question is who put him back in the box? Because he was out of the box. Right. <laughs> That's a good point. I mean, I guess yeah, the, it, I mean, I guess the, the peddler? Yeah. I have issues with that, too. Yeah. I, I have a big issue with that later in this movie that oh, oh, I don't want to talk about yet, but I will get there. Wouldn't he have been burnt? Like, well, being fired the way I took stuff? it... <laughs> The, the doll, yes. But the way I took it is yeah. that the peddler went to the abandoned store after the fire. Oh, to... I meant the doll. But yeah, the doll should be damaged. <laughs> I didn't care about the peddler. You're obsessed well, with Well, not even a peddler. He's just a homeless guy, that homeless rapist. So. Homeless. I mean, he was. You know, I'm going to get there now. He tried to rape her. He's like, well, I mean, yeah. I thought, okay, they're going to go for like, oh, he's like, oh, you got some, you got this watch. I'll take your watch. Like, it was given to me by my husband that died. That would have been fine. No, it was like, <laughs> he's going to push her against the car. And I'm just like, really? <laughs> it we was don't need this. It was a different time. It was time. the 80s. I know. It was. No, I know. I know. It just bugged me because I was expecting something else to go with it. They probably still would do it today, so I don't know why you're so... Yeah, but it's... Because it, it it served no purpose. I mean, sometimes it can... A lot of those scenes. This movie served no purpose, but, you know, that's... Well, no, Welcome because... to horror. <laughs> there we go, but... The purpose I thought it was served basically was because the cop was saying it was specifically a bad idea to go around that area at night. So, in yeah. a way, that is, like, the worst scenario, maybe. Because like, cause that's what he says. He's all, like, it's not a good idea. It's bad. Well, he says, like, it's not just bad. He said it's not a good idea or something like that. Yeah. Sorry. No, I mean, I mean, he wasn't wrong. I mean, I think it's just kind of... It just, in a movie setting, it just felt unnecessary for this. Like, yeah. there are times when it when you have scenes like that and they fit for what the movie is going for. But in here, yeah. like, you could have had ten different things could have been the event that almost happened instead. Or him just about threaten a killer. Like, I would rather have that. Just so. pull a knife instead. Mm. Yeah! Yeah. Something, like, you know, <laughs> just, I don't know, it just seemed... But I, it's the 80s, so... <laughs> I am I am glad that we as a cinema going society have decided that rape's not really a cool thing to present in movies anymore, pointlessly. No, it's like, it's an awful act. It's it it's good terrible. that we've moved past it. I mean it can it can work in some movies, like if it's fitting the plot of what you're going for for the character. Uh, but you have yeah, to Yeah, like I spit on your grave. 
That actually was like a good revenge movie. It's a fucked up movie, but it was a good movie. Spoilers, there is a movie out right now that is entirely about that scenario. What is that? There is a horror movie out right now. Not going to name which one it is. And it's no, no, just no, the Epstein Island movie. Oh, I know which one. Ah. Oh. I have no idea about. It. I don't really watch movies that mm-hmm. don't have my movies. I like have Marvel characters in them usually. So. <laughs> <sighs> but I think that was. I mean, I don't know. This movie was fine. It just didn't really like. I was watching this and I'm just kind of like. Mm. I also I think part of my issue was I don't like the way that the kid is treated in this movie. So the whole idea is that this kid ends up getting the Chucky doll. And for his birthday, and then Chucky Doll talks to him, and then eventually Chucky Doll kills people. And, like, the fact that they make the kid act like, you know, they make society see him as as he's insane, which, again, it works, but it bothered me. And that's what they went for. Yeah. Yeah, like, I get it. There's, you know, child abuse in this movie. There's, you know, attempted sexual assault in this movie. There's all sorts of problems with this movie. I they can all lead back to one thing. It's based in Chicago. Hey, now. <laughs> He's not wrong on that. <laughs> yeah. Chicago's not that bad. <laughs> I don't know. I've never been, so I can't really say, but. <laughs> I have a couple times. I like Chicago. I'm there Chicago. frequently. Oh, do you drive like a crazy person then? <laughs> No, I take the train in like a sane person. <laughs> Our oh, friend did try like to a... stab you from underneath. <laughs> <laughs> we went to Chicago once. Our friend did a, f- a fucking Y turn in like a busy street. That's all. She just cr- quickly did a Y turn. I'm like, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> oh my God. Cars are coming and everything. And I the... couldn't watch. I was like, we're good driver, but. Story. So, did the aunt deserve to die? Because she was being kind of a bitch. No, she didn't. No, but her whole, the whole way was, like, not plausible the way she died. No, you, you, the windows aren't that weak. You get pushed against the window, but then she flips. Now they're not. Forward <laughs> <laughs> she flips, falls face forward, and then does another flip and lands on her back. Yeah. I didn't notice that, no. but I didn't pay enough attention. I'm like, oh, let me go out the window. Okay. Well, yeah, because it looked like as she was falling down, it looked like she looked down and then was on her back when she hit the car. Oh, is that why I fell asleep the first time? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. She did. Like oh, it took me two though. sittings. We, Sorry. We watched it prior to the last one when we record, and then he watched it literally two hours before this one because <laughs> he fell asleep on, on it, and I was just like, get in there and go watch it. <laughs> Good job, Sierra. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, I have a question for Phoebe. So in the early part of the movie, when she's at the store and the boss says, yeah, you don't get to leave. Did you did you feel uh, familiar God with that? God fucking damn it, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I had flashbacks because that's not that traumatic for a retail yeah. boss. Not because of Parker, though. <laughs> I have had to open a place up, close that same place that day. And then open it the next day. 18 hour ships suck. That's illegal. Yeah. I think. Not in Nebraska. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, Labor hmm. laws don't exist here. I don't think they do. I actually looked up stuff. I don't think they really do in Nebraska, apparently. Because you're a bootstrap Ooh. state. So, you know, <laughs> you're stupid. That's what I call them. You're stupid. I know. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. But no, I, I laughed at that part where the guy's like, yeah, you can just go home. But you can leave at five and come back at seven. It's like. What the fuck? Like, you know, that's not that much of an exaggeration. No, I know. I, that, but it was just like, still do that today. Let's be honest. Yeah, they, oh, they yeah. do. But I feel I'm, it more with when I work at senior homes, your supervisor would be like, well, I need you. You can't leave. Or you that have to come back at six. At least makes more sense because the people need you. People don't need. Oh, when another part bothered me when she leaves to go out in the alley to buy the doll. She just left the fucking jewelry on the counter. No. Yeah, I saw that the pearl necklace wasn't even back in the case yet. She just kind of quickly did yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I thought he could come out and fire her when he's coming up to say that's what I think is an answer to work. Like, hey, we're gonna reward you with more with more hours, dude. The, uh, the thing that blows my mind is that you know, there's a, they're complaining at the counter that oh man, this doll's a hundred dollars. How am I gonna get this doll? And then they meet the homeless guy. Oh, it's fifty. That's too much. What? Right? You just said it was a hundred initially. <laughs> okay, they're taking advantage of a homeless man, though. Yeah, <laughs> we'll tackle with a homeless person. I mean, he did try to take advantage of her, so 
I, I was just going to point that out. That does out not too. balance out. No, it does not at all. I'm yeah. just saying, like that maybe was like why they. So my my head canon was that he that Chucky either possessed the peddler or I mean I know he didn't, but like talked to the peddler and told him, "Hey, go sell me to somebody." Like, no, but I guess that he... can't happen because he can only possess the person that he first he reveals himself to. Yep. Yeah. yeah. If he revealed himself to the peddler, he wouldn't be a little going after the little boy. It would be the peddler. <laughs> that would. I mean, be that would have made more. That's what I had thought that the movie was going to go for, because it's like the way that he was trying to sell the doll to me felt a, a little fishy, especially when she comes back and she confronts him. Like, mm, that's why I was. Doll. Yeah. Like, I thought that was like, OK, you know, he was like under some kind of spell. But then we find out a little bit later after that. That's not how it works. But that was my head cannon for about five minutes. till the movie told me otherwise. <laughs> all right. I want to take you all back in time for a minute. Back to the early 80s and a doll called Cabbage Patch Kids. Oh, my God. My God, no. These things were out of control. Everybody wanted them. (laughs) And I think that's, like, what the good guy doll is, effectively. 100%. Well, look at... Look at what at all the stuff that we see throughout this movie, right? There's the good guy construction set. There's the good guy cereal, which has pieces that are the size of a human fist in it. Yeah. <laughs> you have well, a cartoon and you have for a for a IP called good guys. This whole thing is we come down in a hot air balloon and we'll be your friends at the end and everything. There's something like good guy assault rifle toys. <laughs> You can see it on a shelf at the beginning. I mean, this is America. What is this franchise? (laughs) Well, the one thing I like that it didn't have that the Cabbage Patch did have is birthing facilities. The Cabbage Patch kids actually had a place where you can go and pick one out and birth it and everything. Yeah. Yeah, It is creepy, so. (laughs) I'm build a bear. You have a a birthing area in build a bear? Well, you You have an area where you shove a heart in. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well. They don't like it if you don't do it. Like if you're getting the build a bear for your for your wife, and you're like, I don't want to do the dance. Just put the fucking stuff in the bear. Kalima, Kalima. What you do next time? <laughs> we are. God, I haven't been to build a bear since they opened. See, but, but now because of what Ken just said, then that reminded me of um, Robot Chicken, where they where the Cabbage Patch Kids kill Chucky because he has a soul. <laughs> Oh, right. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Thank you, Mario. Core memory <laughs> unlocked. <laughs> Core memory. That's great. You're welcome, Phoebe. Ken, did you anyway, have anyway yeah. to finish. Sorry, Ken. That doll was thrown out because that doll had blood all over it. The yeah. rest of the dolls were fine. That doll was thrown out. So homeless guy sees that, cleans it up. He can't clean himself up, but he cleans up the doll. <laughs> and he resells it. How much more American can you possibly be? America. Exactly. I mean, that's true. Damn. Yeah, so, no, that's fair. Like, he doesn't need to be possessed. He already is by the spirit of capitalism. <laughs> hey, capitalism. Hey. <sighs> Do you guys remember the My Buddy doll? I want to know. Oh, God. My buddy is My actually buddy where me. this started. Buddy. I know. It's very, very based off the My Buddy doll. Mm-hmm. And, like, but I wanted to. The name was Buddy in the first script. And they but had. I change. wanted a big sister doll. <laughs> oh well, yeah, I remember the big sister doll. It's a big my sister buddy. or my sister. I can't. It was remember. big sister. I don't know. They creep me out. No my what. buddy and big sister. They're terrifying well, dolls. Wherever I go, she goes. My, my buddy, buddy and me. <laughs> I hate dolls. I really do. Good thing we don't have a real daughter. <laughs> we have several <laughs> furry ones. <laughs> yes. <sighs> I couldn't handle having a human daughter. I'd give them everything she say. Look at me and the damn cat. He does it with a cat, so yeah. <sighs> Excellent. Yeah. I'm about. I have four. No, you're about to have four. Well, we're about to have four. We have four girls. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I have three cats that are fe- that are well. I have two cats that are female and a dog. Does that count? So. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and they're like, nah, no. <laughs> I have a human child, but only a boy. Only a boy. <laughs> God. <laughs> Does Aaron listen I, to this podcast? You know what? I'll keep our girls over that boy. <laughs> Only a boy. I don't know. Our girls can be as bad as boys, though. Hell yeah. Yeah. They they can. Can. yeah. Well, especially my oldest, I know for a fact. <laughs> she she got in. Well, she, oh, God. Her dad, because he's not in the picture right now anymore, but she, I swear to God, is just like him. 
<laughs> attitude and everything without just look. She, I swear, I had one lady actually ask me if my daughter was half black because she has such curly hair and it poofs out so much it looks like a fro. Oh That's my rude, god. Though. Yeah, I couldn't believe she actually asked me. She's all she half mixed with black, and I was all like, "No, she's Native American, Mexican, yeah. and white." Her hair was so poofy; it kind of reminds me of of that doctor that gets electrocuted later in the movie too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I have a question. Okay, I didn't like the insane asylum thing that they have in here because it looks like a prison, and that bothered me for. Probably very I know, but yeah. it bothered me for personal it's reasons. Good. But it, it really, it, it, I didn't like it. You, you I didn't like, like how the they kid like, the in a kid like an absolute insane psychopath that would stab him at any second. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was just, and also when they when they did the shock therapy, I'm like, how the f- like I don't like, like that he can just turn it. He just turns it all the way up. Like I don't think that's how this works. But so I'm confused about that. Were they in a different room, or was that stuff just in his room? Well, he escaped and went to another part of the hospital. I might have fell asleep. Again. Yeah, no, it wasn't. He escapes his room when Chucky goes in his room and tries to kill him. Oh, okay, there we go. Also, he mm. gave off really creepy vibes as he was trying to put Andy to sleep. To me, I just the, the vibe I got. No, it, you're not wrong. It was there. There was a lot of, like, just weird shit that I just didn't like in this movie that made me feel uncomfortable. So, Very much. I just didn't like how Andy was treated. That really bothered me. I didn't like that either. Everyone's like, you're just, you know, like, they're thinking he murdered him, which was fair. They thought that he murdered his, his aunt, like, you know, but I, don't I mean, know. if you look at the evidence, nobody's going to believe a talking doll. No, I know. Somebody. But it's just later on, as certain things come up, like when he ends up at the house where that random guy is. Okay, that part also bothered me with like the home, the the random criminal is hiding out in an abandoned house full of rats, and I'm like, okay, not yeah. a random criminal. It's Charles Lee Ray's partner. Yeah. The one that abandoned him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Eddie. Okay. The one he said he was going to kill. Well, he did. He yeah, did. good for him. At good least job, he buddy. Andy do it. Yeah. Well, he turns on the gas, and then he the guy. Why did the guy shoot for? Because there was something moving in the kitchen. You're uh, paranoid. You shoot things. You're a crazy killer who's also homeless, and there's a noise in your derelict house. But also, <laughs> wouldn't the gas be shut off at this point to the house? You know, it's the eighties. I know. I know. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the excuse for everything. Yes, it is. Everything fishy. It's the eighties. Horror Here's movie. the thing, though. You know how hard it is to turn on gas again after it's been shut off. Mm-hmm. It's not. You need a wrench. <laughs> that was a good lead. Up. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you find out where the dick spot is too, depending on where it's at. It was probably just turned off at the meter. Yeah. Like. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I. That was a thing in the 80s. Like, we like to show off the idea that you could turn on the gas and blow up a house, huh? <laughs> I feel like it was a thing that happened a lot in the 80s. Okay. Is that what when the TLC <laughs> members did? I think she blew up a house. She set it on fire. Okay, but did she turn, okay, so no, tried to turn on the gas? she set his shoes on fire, threw them in the bathtub, but the bath, this bathtub wasn't marble, and so it ignited. <laughs> okay. What? Yeah, what? what? When the, one of the TLC members left, died. Yeah, she got mad at her too boyfriend much about this. and tried to burn down his house. Yeah. Holy shit! She did burn down his house and went to prison for it. Well, that's what that's happened when you burned down someone's house. <laughs> so, but I was thinking when like, when Andy's traveling on the bus through through Chicago, I'm like, why is a little kid? Like, isn't anybody wondering why a little kid is just traveling on the bus? But probably not. Right. No, no. that's still a thing today. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, kind of. I mean, they will probably say something more today than anything, but. Depends on the city. Yeah, where's your mom? Or and well, more in the city, but yeah. I said, it depends on the city. Because Dep- in Hopeville, and in this town, they won't really ask that much. Yeah, no one gives a fuck here. <laughs> Everybody in here is just meh. So Ken, I was wondering this since you're the only person I have that been to Chicago that's been to Chicago re- regularly. Did you yeah. recognize any landmarks in here? Yeah, actually, I did. Nice. Yeah, since this was actually shot in Chicago. Right. Thank God. You never know. It's not Toronto. It's not Vancouver. <laughs> it's actually Chicago. Huh. And it's great. Is that before the shooting in America became more expensive or what? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I like Chicago. I think it's a cool city. It's an old city, too. There's enough to do there that you'll never be bored. We're going to go look at the haunted places next. Okay. We got to do it in Milwaukee, too, next time we go. Your house? No. Haunted <laughs> places. Come on, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Tiffany, you had something to say about Andy. You met him. Oh, yes, I did. 
<laughs> that was a weird segue. Oh, it wasn't. I was just trying to get it in there, and then it didn't work very well. I did. He's a lot shorter than I thought he was. I say that about a lot of guy celebrities. Not to meet Alex Vincent. Yeah, he was super Chilla. nice. His, he took the selfie, like, actually took the selfie with me. And his handler was like, I can do that. Nope, I got it. It's okay. I'm like, yes. <laughs> yes. I wasn't Aww, there. I was that's nice. <laughs> Ken's sick of hearing all of you boy we met. No, I, no, I'm saying that's nice. That That sounds like a very wholesome interaction. Yeah, he was super nice, and I saw him eating some cheese curds, and I was like, hi. <laughs> hey, all right, cheese curds. <laughs> So most celebrities we have met have been good experiences. So one, not yes, but most have been good. <laughs> most of them have been good, yeah. There's not many that, but I, I mean, because that was also a little bit more of my like any like familiarity with this movie. It's like, okay, well, she met you know the actor, and we have a bunch of Chucky Funko Pops in this house. <laughs> Actually, some of the first Funko Pop we bought were Chucky and Tiffany. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> and well, then yeah, never yeah, the bloody Tiffany too. Yeah, you ordered it off somebody on eBay or something too. You couldn't find it. <laughs> I think I did. Man. Like, that's how you remake this movie, is Funko Pops? use po- Funko Pops. Yes! Why do you don't want AI or Mark Hamill? I enjoyed that movie. I thought it, it was Yeah, fun. Yeah, I yeah, I like the yeah, remake too, one? actually. Yeah. Chocolate. I saw the preview and I thought it looked absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> huh, it was actually all right. I enjoyed okay. it. Well, I'll take your word for it and now I have to watch it. <laughs> I did not like the new one at all. Oh, no. I trust her more than you can. (laughs) I like it. I like Uh, the concept that they used. But you don't like the Chucky show. Okay, I love the Chucky show, but you got so into it that you made me get out of it. That's what happens with Grace. (laughs) Sorry, but... That's what happens with Grace. Oh, that's not my fault. (laughs) Uh, So, another thing... Go on, go on. Sorry. <laughs> so another thing I want to mention, like, Ken, you brought, like, the whole voodoo thing. Did I miss a scene, or is there only just a scene when he goes to the guy's house near the it's end of the movie? the guy when they go to the guy's house. Yeah, when they go to Dr. Death's house. I was just wondering if I missed... It felt like I missed a scene. No, and spoilers for something that's ahead if we watch the Chucky TV show. The first season also has flashbacks to Charles Lee Ray's... How he got to where he is by the mm-hmm. point of the beginning of this movie and they never explain how he know how, how he knows dr dap at all well, Look, yeah, they 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 chicago is the melting they pot it. they split it in the final season please oh me. do they mm-hmm. oh, the end. i was just curious like in this movie because it felt like something was missing to me like when he showed up he's like you shouldn't have told me this stuff about the food and you had the voodoo doll and i'm just like something feels like i'm missing something no that's all you got Okay. Yep. Why did I don't know why you needed more of an explanation, man? It was the eighties. Voodoo was <laughs> weird in the eighties, man. Like everybody <laughs> loved it for some reason. Yeah, that's the power of voodoo. Stuff, yeah. Voodoo? voodoo? No, we're not doing that again. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't doing it twice with you, so uh, once is enough. But okay, I would say I don't know, it just felt like I, I wanted more of that. I wanted more of the supernatural stuff to explain why the fucker isn't a doll. Like You don't get it. I know. <laughs> and I was a little upset about it. I mean, most of this movie is just Andy be like, The doll did this, I didn't do it. Ah, you're crazy, Andy. Ah like that's the majority and then when the when the mother finally believes, then the cops like you're crazy, woman! Like You're crazy, too. That's where your son gets it from. I'm like, this is just... At least they didn't do a whole ugh, typical hysterical woman thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, they could have went down that road and they didn't. I mean, I have the mother, the act, the actress, I don't know her name, that played. I thought she did a good job. Uh, Christian Heck. What else is she in? I didn't Google it. She was... Isn't she in Seventh Heaven? Or is that somebody else? Yeah, that's her. Yeah, I was right! She's in what? Seventh, seventh Heaven. 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 Yes! I watched that show until I found out the dad was a creep. I had no idea he was a creep until recently. Thanks to Ken. <laughs> Why are you spreading that kind of information, Ken? I'm a repository of knowledge. I cannot be held accountable for what I know. <laughs> <sighs> I agree with that, though. I'm, hey, if nothing wrong, I mean, if you're if you're a shitty person, I don't remember what he did, but I'm assuming it was pretty shitty. You should be called out for it. Yeah, yeah it was be. bad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was some of the kids. I think. <laughs> then you should be called out for it, and law should be taken care of. But I will leave it at that. <laughs> the show, I think the show was on its last season when that happened. Maybe it was right after. But I was watching it. I was like, you okay. never watched the show. I just remember it. It's a decent show. Oh, and Catherine Hicks was also in a Star Trek movie, but I don't remember. But. Yep. Voyage Home. I've seen it once. In a long time. Fun movie. 
so and Ken, do you have any history with this director? I know we talked a little bit about oh, it, but not a whole lot. Yep. Tom Holland is a great director. So the reason I said that the cop belonged in a better horror movie is Tom Holland had previously directed a movie called Fright Night, starring Chris Sarandon as the vampire master mind. He also plays the cop in this movie. He also plays Prince Humperdinck in uh, Princess Bride. Yeah, to that why. <laughs> Yep. I, for the longest time, thought it was the guy from Elvira, because he almost looks just like him. Um, oh, the uncle? Yeah, no, no, no. The the boyfriend in Elvira, the one she's trying to get with. I thought it was him. Oh, okay. Well, it, it, when I like, I had to look it up, but then when I realized it, I felt so stupid because he's in Princess Bride, and I was like, that's my favorite fucking movie. How can I <laughs> not? I was very, very disappointed in myself. <laughs> he was good in Friday Night. I'm not. He was good in Friday Night. <laughs> he was good in Fright Night. He was he was good in this. Tom Holland also did uh, some Tales from the Crypt episodes. He did a wonderful television miniseries based on a Stephen King story called The Langoliers. Thank you. Yes, Great. I remember that. <laughs> uh, another Stephen King adaptation he directed was Thinner, a very yes. underrated one. Uh, he was one of the titular Masters of Horror for the Showtime series. Masters of Horror did his own episode on that one. Yeah, like the ice cream truck episode. So good. He's got some he's got some some chops. He's a good director. He doesn't I don't think he does enough stuff, but that's me. No, his his filmography is not very long. No, 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 no. His actually he's done more acting roles uh than he's done uh directing roles. But he's done a lot of damn good things. Yeah. He was in Psycho too. That was Never good. Seen that. First one I like, actually. That's yeah, I like all the psychos. All. I don't think psychos. I've actually watched any of them. <laughs> I am like four of them. Oh, okay. Five, technically. You talking about American Psycho? No. Oh, psycho I need to psycho watch that two, one. Psycho three, Psycho four, and then the Gus Van Sant directed Psycho remake starring oh, Vince Vaughn. Yeah, it's fine. I don't like Vince Vaughn. Yeah, it's not terrible, but it's I not. just don't like Vince Vaughn. Why? What? I think he's ugly for one. That doesn't help the situation. He's still funny, though. You, you have to watch him. He's still to me. <laughs> We all disagree with you. That's now. fine. You can. I just, I don't know. He's an actor I just don't care for. But I also have a space. Yeah, are you sure? No, no, I'm not. Uh, I don't know. I just, it just bothered me a lot in in Child's Play that everyone just didn't believe anybody. And that everyone just seems creepy. Like, the, like we were talking about the doctor being creepy. Like, it was just a lot of stuff like that. It just, it was a personal reason. Like, I just didn't like a lot of the stuff that happens to Andy. It just bothered me that he's seen as he's crazy and seen as a murderer and then he's in like there were just i just did not like but he's like six years old i know and he's going through a lot of traumatic situations i didn't like it <laughs> well, yeah it doesn't get the doctor better died. for him <laughs> God, it's, yeah. just, it's mike's parental side talking right here it really is it is 100 percent. i mean i'm i know i know that is i'll, I'll say it right there it is i it hit a little too close to home at times, and I'm just like, this bothers me. I didn't like how she just sort of handed her son over to the doctor. I don't think she yeah. had a choice. No, she didn't oh. have a choice. Oh. Oh, no. She could have made more of a fuss about it or something. She could have. She but didn't they would have just got her a nice little room with bars on the window had she <laughs> made too much of a fuss. They, it wasn't a choice. Uh, well, then go crazy like him well, and well, be in on. there with him. <laughs> hey, hang on. Mike, if Tiffany makes you watch everything, including the Chucky series, trust me, you're going to feel so much worse for Andy. Trust me. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, I get so much worse for Andy. <laughs> I haven't seen the series, though. I really should. You didn't even watch it. it but you got to watch it. It gets so much worse for Andy. The first two seasons are really great. With their book, too. The two movies, Curse and Cult, that came out at some point, and you're like, this is stupid. I was like, I watched maybe 10 minutes of The Cult, and I was like, no, or Cult. Whatever. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. Cult was the one that I could not do either. I was just like, this I is watched stupid. it, but it just, no. I like them all. <laughs> I, like it. I like them all. I don't all. know. I, I can't handle a doll, like a killer doll that bothers me. Like, Okay, so the end scene, when they do finally get him in the apartment and they fight Chucky, like, part of it is entertaining, but like... <laughs> He takes way too, like, they blow off each arm, leg, his head, and he just keeps coming. I'm like, I do not like this. Oh, the- you're going to hate the second movie. Yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually asking, too. I was all like, is this doll on PCP or something? Did you not see his metal skeleton? He's basically a Terminator. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> you I mean, you're not wrong. Metal movie. underneath. He yeah, like a, when he, he when like he was Terminator. trying to choke the mom, you could see yeah. the little metal pieces on his um hand. Yeah, 
It's so creepy. Oh, by the way, when the voodoo doctor says you're becoming more human, that actually does come into effect. He will grow a little miniature heart. Yeah, he'll grow. Because that's what they finally killed. They shoot his heart, finally, after they blow off every other part of him. Mm -hmm. One thing I really want to give the production credit for is the way that they started his face out very doll-like, but it got softer and more skin-like, capable of better reaction Mm -hmm. as Charles Lee Ray spent more time in the doll. Yeah. Like that. Apparently it was cut. They had something where they explained that that's what's happening. They leaned on it a lot more. It was much more subtle here, but I thought it was great. I love the little detail that by the time he bites the mom, he has human teeth. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah. He he did? Yeah, it it bothered me. (sighs) I don't like teeth. Put little dentures in there. (laughs) But, no, it starts getting kind of... (laughs) They make the doll just... uh, It it bothered me. Like, but you can see... Yeah, no, you're right, Ken. Like, you definitely do see the change in him as, as he's possessing it more. Uh, the part that I wanted to say, when she finds the batteries, when she finally realizes that Andy's not lying, and, like, she goes to open him, and the, there's no batteries in there, and he's, he, that's what I think when he finally says something about, fuck you, bitch! <laughs> yeah. Well, that's when she's all like, talk to me, or I'm gonna throw you in the fire, and he's all, you don't mess with me, you slit, and he starts freaking out on her. Just throw him in the fucking fire, don't even, like, throw him in the- you know what, I would've just burned it all right then, and I'm like, hey, you only paid 30 bucks for you? Fuck it, we're burning you. My son's in the fucking mental hospital. You're going in the fire, doll. I would have talked so much (laughs) shit to that doll. (laughs) That scene was the switch to it becoming an R-rated movie. That was great. Yes, yes, it was. (laughs) This movie also points out that how if you stab a person in the leg, it's really bad. Because, like, they take a lot of people out to fight because he's small, so he can't do a whole lot, but he's stabbing everybody in the leg in the kneecap. Mike, have you ever seen Child's Play? I mean, not Child's Play, Pet Cemetery. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I've seen it once, and I never want to see it again in my life. No, I need to. I <laughs> the original or the remake? One. The original. I've seen the original. I went through a phase where I was trying to watch classic horror movies. Man up. <laughs> and I didn't finish, but I did watch Pet Cemetery once in my life. I'm so. engaged. <laughs> so that was it. I, like I don't want to watch it again. Remake was fine. I didn't watch it. I mean, if I, you say it, it wasn't right. bad. I liked it. If, I like. I love the original, but I like the remake for what it was. It's better than Doctor Sleep. It was good. It just like well, the kid was more believable and more scarier in the remake. But the kid in the first one was just so adorable. So <laughs> that's just what. But doesn't that huh? kid have a knife and kill people? Well, yeah, yeah he's but he's like, like the way he's trying to do his face. Heel. Yeah, he's like. Yeah. Sweet goes out the window and you come at me with a knife. <laughs> <laughs> it comes at you and just drop kicks him out the window, okay? <laughs> well, he was little enough. <laughs> I mean, I've seen that happen. I saw my uncle accidentally just bust open through the door and my little nephew goes flying. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It was great. It felt so bad for him, but it was great. <laughs> <laughs> me, and, me and my aunt were sitting in the living room just sitting there watching TV. My uncle goes out the door. My little nephew, Alex, comes running just kind of just, you know, to shut the door. But it slams. My uncle is all, hell no. He comes busting in just like a linebacker or something. You just see this kid go, foo, <laughs> across the living room. Can fly. If it had been a two-story house, we would have seen a, a live-action version of Halloween Ends. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. I do want to watch more of those movies, and I do want to watch more Child's Play movies. But You do? You yeah. just said you did No, Halloween. I liked Halloween. Oh, I thought you said Child's Play. No, I don't want to watch any more Child's Play. I want to watch more Hellraiser than I do Child's Play. At least Hellraiser is horny. Horny in their horror. Horny in their horror. Hell yeah, more Hellraiser. Hellraiser wants to fuck you and kill you at the same time, so I'm more into Hellraiser. Don't show you, Mr. Alberton. What, Phoebe? We have such sights to show Oh, my God. <laughs> Your suffering will be legendary. Angels to some, demons to others. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe I do need to get you when we do three eventually. Maybe at some point, three. Oh, God, Hell on Earth is my favorite. <laughs> so, but back to Child's Play. So a couple other things that I, I don't know, the detective bothered me in this movie. I think, you know, just the way he acted. His partner was an asshole, too. But when I, I like when he finally, find, when the doll tried to choke him, he's like, yeah, no one's going to, who's going to believe me? <laughs> you know, it was, that was, that was good. I don't know, yeah, just, I, I just like, I, like you said, with the, uh, the partner being the asshole, he just literally wrote off everybody. He did not care. He was just trying to go home, get this done and just 
be with his lady or whoever kind of thing. He really did not care. Sounds accurate. It was a job. Mm-hmm. Like, for some people, I mean, it really is just a job. Like, fuck it. He was I mean, it could have gave the kid a little bit more sympathy or something. <laughs> oh, I do want to say that that uh, actor, Andy, he did a hell of a job as an, in this movie, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, hell yeah. I was impressed how good of an actor he is in this. Like, I was like, damn, this kid can act. Mm-hmm. And it will stay the same actor except in three? Correct. Yeah. And that yeah, is why three sucks. One of the well, yeah, many reasons why three sucks. Yeah, and he comes back for the TV show, too. Yeah. He's, yeah. They would have had to wait, like, ten years if they wanted him that age. Yeah. I'm sorry. Three may have been terrible, but I still love three. Especially that one line. Check it out, Andy. I'm going to be a brother. <laughs> What? Oh, God. I've never seen three. <laughs> since I don't you'll, see, you'll see, Mike. You'll see. I'll clue you in. We'll they see. Have a yeah. I know, but that doesn't mean I want to watch any more. Oh, it's no. It, we it, have to watch that more resist, now. He says I'm going to be one of the boys. This is one of those two. I can see but it was like, taking him and, like, clockwork oranging him to watch all the Chuckies. Hmm. Like, yeah. doing that and to be like, you have to watch. <laughs> all I heard Tiffany say was yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, Child Play 2 is two years after this movie, and Child Play 3 is one year after that. So they, they came out very quickly. But they should have waited a few years. Maybe he could have pulled off an older kid. I mean, kids grow fast. Ask Stranger Things. Right. <laughs> they could have oh, just rewrote the damn movie. <laughs> you, you, that costs money, Ken. He did not like it, Ken. <laughs> Scrap it and start over. Writers don't have a say, and directors don't have a say. Now, producers, they're the ones that control everything. The studios. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. I'm trying to think what else I, I want to mention that we haven't. Oh, when you, when you see the black guy with, for the voodoo, I for a second I thought that was Tony Todd. It wasn't, but I was like, that's Tony Todd? I'm like, no. Thank no. you. Wow. It was just a, the way you see his face. It, it made me think it was Tony Todd. I suppose everybody looks alike to you, don't they, Mike? <laughs> wow. I like Tony Todd a lot. <laughs> He's really nice. Damn. He was really nice. You got to meet him, too. And he said a prayer for my dad. <laughs> Kenny's even in Wishmaster. Tony Todd's everywhere, okay? I he's know. a Klingon. <laughs> oh my god, he is a Klingon. Yeah, he's Klingon. And he's uh, Worf's brother, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, he's also god, in he's Stargate so SG-1 also, too. Oh, so. Yeah. Oh my god. And he's Venom. Ugh, yeah, Spider-Man, right. too. That's why everyone was bringing Venom. Yeah, because he, he did the voice for Venom in the new game that came out. Oh, Tony Todd, so. yeah. He's always Candyman to me. That's fine. I'll, He'll sure always he's... be death to me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of some other stuff that I, I want to. <laughs> what the fuck? Sorry. <sighs> <laughs> if only there was a silence button on cell phones that <laughs> Tiffany could use. Nope, I don't. Wait. In case I anyone wait. was out there wondering, her mother's calling her. <laughs> so, uh, Ken, anything else you want to mention about this movie that I haven't thought about while my brain is fuzzy? I'm pretty sure we covered most everything worth covering in this one, honestly. Mm. I mean, we didn't really talk much about Brad Dorff's performance, but Jesus Christ, was he good in this. Does he do the voice, too? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's been playing the same character for 40 years, and he's also uh, one of the best characters in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, mm-hmm. Right? I forgot about that. Who is he in Lord of the Rings? He's a... Uh, I can't remember the character's name, but he's, he's Saruman's um, underling guy. He's he has black, long black hair in the fucking movie. I know what you're talk- talking about. Grimma worm tongue. There you go. Oh, okay. The okay. I know what you're talking about with Rohan, yeah. and he's like, yeah. Are you, are you kidding? Are you kidding me? This whole time, that's who he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Once again, I am very disappointed oh, in myself. Brad Dorf plays Chucky in everything he's in. We're, we're talking about the, the the one with the sick king and stuff, the black hair. He yes, was all okay. Two towers. Yeah. Yeah. Motherfucker. And I mean, then he gets he's, killed. He's a doctor oh, version of Chucky in, in Alien Resurrection, especially with the creepiness. Well, I do want to point out when the movie first started um, and he's running away from the cop and everything, I thought it was a woman. I did too. <laughs> I yeah. really thought because his long hair and everything, I was like, "Why is he running? Like, why is a woman running?" And then I realized, "Oh, it's Charles. Never mind." Why? He's also in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and Blue Velvet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, never seen that either. Yep, Halloween remakes. I've seen neither of the movies that were just mentioned. I've seen oh, he was those. great as as sheriff, as sheriff Bracket actually in the remakes. I'm trying to get more movies off my list. I really am. Like, this is another one that just I'm trying. <laughs> Good luck. He hey, was great in The Exorcist 3, really. The Harris. Like, 
He was so good <laughs> in The Extra's history. Yes. So, Ken, as I, I like to ask you with a lot of these horror movie franchises, is this one that you recommend that we try to do more of? Like, is it... I've already said my piece. I think they're just diminishing returns as we go forward. So if you do do the rest of them, I'm not going to do the rest of them. But <laughs> I volunteer as tribute. Same here. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I don't I mean, know if I want to. It sounds like you've got a crew. Like, they're not, they're not bad. They're just less for me as the series goes on. Until you get to Curse. Curse was great. Curse was good. Mm-hmm. It was a good okay. return to form. I just like getting your opinion on, on horror franchises because like you have you know them better. Like Halloween, I was gun ho after Halloween one. You're like, no, no, just stop right here. Just because <gasps> he doesn't trust me at all, Ken. <laughs> ah! Now when it comes to horror movies, I always nope. <laughs> You're like, well, I watched this as a kid, so I really like it. You're like, oh, that's a bad sign. <laughs> wait, 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 <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Ken told you what after Halloween one? I don't think you recommended the other Halloweens, other than like the remake, the new remake, I think. Or not remake, but the new reboot, or the sequel. Yes. The the new Halloween trilogy is great. The Rob Zombie movies are great. Halloween 3 yes. is great, but that's not really Michael Myers. Uh, the rest of the Halloween movies can burn in a fire for all I care. <laughs> you shut your mouth, good Ken sir. Just doesn't like no, you talk shit calls. about Dr. Sleep. It's on now. <laughs> Dr. Sleep is a sequel to Shining, right? Oh, yes. Yeah. That reminds me. They tried to parody Shining in this movie. Yeah, yeah they did. absolutely. I didn't like that. <laughs> when he's going to the door. That bothered me. I'm like, don't parody a good movie, you fucking stupid movie. Like, come on now. <laughs> Whoa. Tell Whoa. us how you really feel. Whoa. Down there, Whoa. sir. Whoa. Whoa. Take a breath. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't <laughs> like it. It's on Halloween. But come on, my shots fired. Shining and good movie do not belong in the same sentence. I like Shining. <laughs> <laughs> I think Shining is something else. I think the miniseries is great. <gasps> oh, oh, the miniseries. Mm-hmm. The one without Jack Nicholson. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's two yeah. different versions of the movie. One for Stephen King's version, one for Stanley Kubrick's version. Yep, and Stephen King's version was the better version. I never it's knew the this. More, it's the more faithful one. It owns it better. I, mean, I just more faithful. I've only seen The Shining once, and I remember really liking it when I watched it. But I haven't. I know Stanley Kubrick's a little extreme. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen it all the way through. I, I just know it. It's, you gotta take a nap around, between yeah. the movie. Take a nap. Well, most people know it now because of Ready Player One, so. Oh, fuck's damn sake. It. God damn it. <laughs> it got brought up again. I was just like, when I saw that scene in, in, in Child Play where it was referencing The Shining, it just kind of bothered me. I'm just like, why are you referencing? Like, but I guess this movie is kind of like a horror comedy, or they become more horror comedies, right? They yeah. become yeah. Yes. much more bad. horror comedy. This no. one, this, this is bad. dark. <laughs> yeah, yeah, each one gets less and less horror and more and more comedy until Curse com- came out, mm-hmm. and that's when they went back to the roots. And then the show is kind of like the to me like the perfect blend between the horror and the comedy. No, yes, I uh, no. I'm sorry, no, Just no. screw you. The, the I'm sorry. The end. The ending of the show was great. Creep the hell out of I, me. I don't want to say ending, any spoilers. But... Season? Huh? What? Getting the fourth season? Ah. Uh... <laughs> I thought there was four How? seasons all No, time. what? How? I don't know. You're the one who watched it. So yeah, <laughs> I don't have anything else to say about Child's Play. I have so much on my to-watch list right now. <laughs> Good, you can watch it without me. It'll give you an excuse, give you just a watch while I'm recording endlessly, as I do. <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds accurate. Not wrong. All right, anybody, any, anything else people want to say about Child's Play before we go to Shelf Stacker Box? We're watching Child's Play, too. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Not this year. Uh, well, since this is game related, it's you know playing as Chucky and Tiffany in the Dead by Daylight's fucking great because they talk shit as they chase their survivors, That's and then awesome. when you pick up and when you pick up the survivor, it's actually the ghost of Charles Lee Ray's human form picking them up. Oh, that's cool. It actually is really cool. Mm. But then you gotta play Dead by Daylight, so let's play Dead by Daylight. No. Yes, please. I have it. I so do we. Play so it. play. Especially now with the two v eight mode happening right now. Ooh. I I played it. I don't like it, but I don't we like have multiplayer. To buy Chucky and Tiffany, so we can. Play. <laughs> I have like Tiffany. Five bucks Tiffany's each. my favorite in this. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> in the series in general, because she has her name. Just, you know, God. Jennifer Tilly. I yeah. don't know Jennifer Tilly very well. Oh, anyway. Jennifer oh. Tilly. Oh. I know that. Mike, family guy, right? Yes. Yeah, Bonnie. That's Jennifer Tilly. Yes. Oh. Okay. 
The neighbor's wife. Right. Ah, White. now I know who you're talking about now. <laughs> All right, we'll go to Shelf Stacker Box. And Tiffany, why don't you go first, since we keep saying Tiffany. <laughs> yeah. Go Tiffany. <laughs> yes, Tiffany. I don't know. It's Shelf or Stack for me. Is there another in between? No, you have to pick one. <laughs> I'll go for a Shelf. I still enjoy it. Okay. And Kenneth. Ooh. <sighs> I think it's going to have to be high stack for me. All right. Like, well, I, I, I do rewatch this occasionally, but not often. Can I change mine now that he said high stack? Sure. Like, I like that better than <laughs> You can change your mind. <laughs> I changed it. You have to talk if you want to change your mind. No, I just said it. Okay. I, said, I changed it to high stack because I agree with what Keith just said. <sighs> and Mario. I'm actually gonna say shelf because you know what? If if I if we can find the collection of it and just put it on the wall, we'll probably end up doing that. Especially with how we are with our movies. Okay. Everything is digital for us. What are you talking about? <laughs> well, we, need to, we need to get physical media again. <laughs> I'm literally. Just I'm like, getting what? scared now because the way the internet's been going and our phones have been going the past few days. Yeah, we're getting DVDs again. I mean, yes, that would be nice. <laughs> or cassettes. I want cassettes. Get me cassettes. No. <laughs> No, we ain't going back to sets. That's a, no. That's a hardcore. No. But the art of manually rewinding was just so much fun. I had to rewind. Kind of rewind, it. children. <laughs> and Phoebe. Oh, it's going on the shelf. This is one of my three favorite horror franchises. Okay. Yeah. It says more about you. Okay. What? <laughs> Look, it's this Evil Dead and Hellraiser. Happy? So you're like, I, I'm very happy. Horny with horror, funny sure. horror. And stupid yeah. whore. Okay. Yes. You just call him a stupid whore? Oh. <laughs> okay, first the of all. The movie franchise is her. stupid whore. Second of all, I think he did. Not he did. That's just so rude. <laughs> oh, and Sierra, what about you? <laughs> uh, like Mario said, if we could get the DVDs, I would have it on the shelf. Or VHS. No. 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 I would love to have it on VHS, but we don't have any of that, and I'm not going to go looking for it. I mean, I still have a VHS. Either way, it, to no, me, it's a classic that we. It's just it's a it's a must have in my house. Do you have to at least watch it once? And the rest of them, I'm I don't know about the first three, but definitely after Bride and everything else, I will have <laughs> definitely. But uh, it's just I I I would like it to have it just like there, just to maybe every so often be like, eh, okay, that sounds good. That's just me. Okay. I'll go last. It's going in the box. I didn't enjoy it. Fuck you. <laughs> I just didn't enjoy this movie. I mean, it just... I worked. expected that. <laughs> I, I mean, I am getting better with horror movies. Like, hey, I watched this whole movie, and I didn't play that much... Mar- I didn't really play Martin. No, I didn't play Marvel Snap. I actually watched the movie and took note. <laughs> While you were... First- A miracle. <laughs> so, like, I paid attention. <laughs> I just didn't, I just do not like dolls. I can't get past the fact that I don't like dolls. And then you have a killer doll and I really don't like it. So, yeah. <laughs> We're surrounded by Funko Bob. Yes, but they don't have batteries. That can, then they don't talk ever. They could, so, they have eyes. That if they talk, then they're going in the fire. There's no question they're going in the fire. Did you have drugs that day? Sure, maybe, but they're going in the fire anyway. Like, like, it's not going to matter. Any you doll talk to, to me, it's getting burned. in the heart. Simple as that. Yeah. I, we ain't keeping it. I had any type of thing where I thought the doll moved, it's in the fire. I always wanted a haunted doll. It'd be in the fire. What you just fire? learned we that the fire. Make, I'm making a fire. Anything. I'm not, like, I am just, and I'm not joking. Like, I've always thought this way. I've always had a fear of a toy coming to life and talking to me. So, <laughs> Ask Your Pope just terrified me. I've never even seen the movie, but I'll get that story when we when we do that movie. So. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah I, I guess, that's, yeah, I don't need <laughs> to say anymore. Thank you, Ken. <laughs> and, Ken, where can people find you at? Oh, my God. Uh, you can find me, my film writings on uh, kennethsanity.wordpress.com. Also coming before the end of the year, my movie podcast. My movie podcast. I'm very <laughs> excited for that. It's going to be fun and interesting, and I'll still be showing up here. <laughs> Thank you. I'll still be asking you many times. <laughs> we have, what, seven Hellraiser movies to still cover? Eight? Eight. Uh, Please call me. <laughs> Wait, only eight? We did two. It's so a two hasn't two's been released by the point that you're here. Like Shit. twelve at this point. No, there's, no, like there's only ten. So, no, wait, no, 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 including wait, my hand. I gotta count. Promise you, there's ten. What have you started? <laughs> Hang on. eleven. For now, <sighs> All right, oh, no, there's twelve. There's eleven. There's eleven. Eleven. I'm finished. There. I forgot the new one. Hopefully, oh. twelve. Are there? Books? There's literally only two books or three books. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, well, there's Hellbound Heart, Scarlet Gospels, and there's a crossover one with them and Harry DeMore again. It was rhetorical. I was just trying to get it. I mean, Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> go. What the Scarlet Gospel? 
Yes, that was great. Charlie Gosnell was great. Hellbound Heart was great. And at one point, Pinhead and Sherlock Holmes apparently fight in a different book. Nice. Yeah. We didn't make what? that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd read a comic book that had a comic book version of it. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, the that. comic's great. <laughs> so, Phoebe, where do people find you at? Hi, I'm the Let's Play Princess. You can find me on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter. You can also listen to my podcast co-hosted with one teacher bloke 85 called Nerds of Broadcast on every streaming service. And Mario. And you can find Sierra and I on Biased Gaming on Spotify and Facebook. Remember, I'm the better one. Yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah, she's not wrong, but she's also the meaner one. <laughs> That's okay. That's what makes her better. Yeah. <laughs> That's what makes you better. Oh, yeah. All right. If you enjoyed this episode, over 650 other episodes of this podcast, you can find everything we do on Podbean. Uh, you can search right there and look at all our content. We have tons of movies, games, TV shows, comics, whatever the hell people convince me to do or I convince people to talk about. So you can go check out our, our giant catalog. If you want to support the show, we do a Patreon. If a little dog vote in our Patreon polls. We have one to two polls every month. So definitely go do that and support the show, and you get to affect the show. And we have a Discord. Please join our Discord and chat with us. Great way. If you want to be on the show, that's how you do it. Join our Discord, and I'm always asking for people for guests. And we're going to start my awesome intro and outro courtesy of Helena at Hell Has Free. You can follow her on TikTok and Instagram. You will see a link to her link tree in the show notes. And check out A Gamer Looks at 40 with Bill Tucker. He's currently talking Final Fantasy probably for the rest of this year. So definitely go check out his <laughs> podcast. And please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Threads, TikTok, YouTube, audio only. We can be fine on all those platforms. And rate and view us wherever you get your podcast. I think that's everything I need to say. So see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye. So, Bye. Day, do a Denbala. Ha, <laughs> ha,